All right, so set and drift. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, so um, set and drift in 1981, there's a section on page 412, and in 2024, there's a pet section on page 185, but it's on vectors, all right? So, and that's also in the current book. There's a section on vectors in the current book as well. So, you know, that's that tip to tail stuff, okay? Now, uh, when we're doing currents, there's this little, like, C, D, C plus D equals M. C plus D equals M. You'll notice that they're in alphabetical order. There's a C, then there's a D, then there's an M. And the C is current, the D is DR, and the M is made good. So the current plus the DR results in the made good. C and D are vectors. M is a resultant. Okay? So there's a current triangle, and it's composed of three legs, C, D, and M. All right? You can put them in any order that you want, but I put them in alphabetical order for a reason, because it just so happens that C added to D gives you the resultant M. So each of these three legs, current, DR, made good, has two variables. There is a direction variable, okay, like course or the direction of the current set. And then there is a speed. It could be called drift if it's talking about the current. It could be called RPM if it's on the DR line. It could be called speed made good if it's on the made good line. So that means that for three legs of a triangle, two variables each leg, there are six variables in a current triangle. Every current triangle has six variables, and you are going to have four of them in every current problem, and you're going to have to figure out the other two. Okay? So C plus D equals M. So this is a table. You don't necessarily have to think about it this way, but this is how I think about current. I think about it in terms of three legs of a triangle. Each leg has two different components. And so there's a direction component, that's this column, there's a magnitude component. So for current, the direction is set, the magnitude is drift. For the DR, the direction is course to steer or you are steering. Those will be the words or words similar to that in the question. All right, what is the course to steer? They're asking you for a component of the DR line. Uh, you are steering, that's a component of the DR line. OK, uh, if they say your speed by RPM, that's the speed for the DR line. If they say engine speed, that's the speed for the DR line. If you see course made good, then they're talking about the course of the made good line. You wish to make good. That's going to be off the made good line. Your intended track. That's the made good line. Speed made good. Speed of advance. OK, so if you can start to, to tease out the distinctions between these words, then you can start to put them on the appropriate lines, because what I'm going to suggest you do is perhaps make a box like this. If you struggle with current and you haven't used this system before, you might try it. OK, if you're doing fine with currents, then just wait till I do a little graphical thing in a minute. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this box to do a, a sort of an analysis of what's given, and then I'm going to do a plot. Okay, so you wish to make a CN course from north, okay, of 035 true while turning 12 knots. So you wish to make a CN of 035. So what do you think the 035, what line should that be on? Should that be on the, the current line, the DR line, or the made good line? What do you think? You think made good? Anybody think it might go on the DR line? It's the made good line. You wish to make, it's the make, make good. Okay? So this is tricky stuff. While turning 12 knots. So where's tw turning 12 knots? What's that going to go on? That's DR. You're turning, that's your RPMs, okay? Set is 340 and drift is two knots. Where is that information going to go? That's definitely the current. So this is what you have, okay? Current is 340, 
the magnitude is two knots. We don't know what direction the DR line is, but we do know that the length of it is 12. We do know that we want to make 0, 3, 5, but we don't know what the speed made good is. These are the two things we're going to be looking for. Okay? If you use this system and you have a question, you have an empty box here and an empty box there, this is the problem where you have to swing the thing. Okay? If that doesn't make sense to you, it will in a moment. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is, now what we're going to do is we're going to plot what we can. We're going to plot what we can. What's one of the things that we can definitely plot here? Can we plot 0, 3, 5? We absolutely can. So we plot that from the middle. There's 0, 3, 5. What kind of line is 0, 3, 5? It is what? M? Put an M there. What I see happen very often is people make the right triangles, but they pull the information off the wrong leg. They did everything right with the graphical thing, but they pull it off the wrong leg because they didn't label them, they got confused. So this is made good, label it M. Okay, great. So that means that check the 0, 3, 5. 0, 3, 5 is now plotted. Okay, can I plot the 12? What's the 12? The 12 is my speed. I'm going to make an hour-long triangle here. Okay, so that's 12 knots. Well, where, how can I plot 12 knots at the moment? Well, that would be if I wanted to make a 30-minute triangle. But even if I divided it by 2, it would be 6. How am I going to plot that on there? But where would I plot it? Where? But where would I put it on the circle? There's nowhere to put it on the circle because I don't know a direction. I'm missing the direction. Because I'm missing the direction, I cannot plot this. The direction is missing. Therefore, I cannot plot it. Here, I had a direction. I can plot the direction. I don't have the distance. So I just plotted the freaking line super long. But I can't plot the 12 alone because there's no orientation to draw a line. So I have to hold off on the 12. Can I plot the current? Yeah. Oh, hell to the yeah. Okay. Where am I going to plot the current? Three, four, zero. Three, four, zero. I'm going to make it two. Okay. Now, is M, do you got, now this is where the, this is where it comes in handy. What's that my little saying with the three letters? C plus D equals M. C plus D equals M. Which of the two, C and D, are the vectors and which of the, which of them are the resultant? C and D are vectors and M is a resultant. So, M is a resultant, that means that's tail, those two go tail to tail. But now I'm going to, now, now what am I trying to create here? What, sh what geometric shape am I trying to create? A triangle. Okay, yes. Okay, so I've plotted the zero, three, five, I've plotted the three, four, zero, I've plotted the two. Now I gotta make a triangle. I only have one piece of data left. To plot a triangle. What is that? What is that piece of data? 12. I know the length of it, but I don't know the orientation. But I know I've got to make a triangle. Is D a vector or a resultant? It's a vector. So how am I going to attach it to C? Vectors are tip to tail. That means I need to put the 12 on the end of the C. Now, what am I, I put it on the end of the C, do I just wildly let it wiggle around? What am I going to do with that 12? I'm going to sweep it. This shape of the two question marks means you're going to swing that thing. So I take out my dividers and I measure 12. So, you know, the dividers are slightly off from the center to pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. But that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You see there's like a salute. You see there's a little 12 up there. So I went 12. Now what did I do? I put that over there and I swing them until they touch the M line. And I label that D. Okay. Now I've got my triangle. 
if you don't label the triangle, you might get the triangle perfect, but now is where you might screw up. If you, I highly recommend you label. Now you look at your box and you say, well, I'm looking for this thing and I'm looking for this thing. What line must I look for this thing on? It's on the D line. So that means I'm not gonna look on this line, I'm gonna look on this line. So how do I get D from that? Yeah, you take your triangle and then you bring it to the center and you get that. How am I gonna get this, the magnitude of the M line? How am I gonna get the magnitude of the M line? You're gonna, what, you, what tool are you gonna use? Your dividers. I'm gonna take my dividers and I'm gonna measure the length of the triangle, the length of the M. And that turns out to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen goes there. And I take that line. I, it was easier to move the line than to like create a triangle and have the triangle move. And that is zero four three. Okay. What is is it important that you do the box? You can do the box if it helps you. What is very important is to label your lines. I believe labeling your lines will solve a lot of headache. And then you've got, and you got to pay attention to your keywords. Okay. So there we go. All right. I'm going to move on to another, I think I'm going to move on to another example. Everybody good with that? The next example, there's going to be slightly less, there's going to be slightly less, uh, okay? So you're underway. Oh, this one's got a little bit of a, a compensating for some, for the wind too. You're underway and intend to make good a course of zero, four, zero. Okay. Zero, four, zero, make good. What line is that going to be? If I'm starting to create a little freaking box of six variables. Where is the zero, four, zero going to go? M. Okay. Great. You experience a current set and drift of one, nine, zero at one point four. That's going to go in the C, okay? And in Northwest, okay, now, okay, here's the fun part. This is, you could get this on the near coastal module, 10 questions, 90%. And a Northwest wind produces three degrees of leeway. Again, when you have leeway, you've got to decide if you're going to deal with it in the beginning of the problem or at the end of the problem. What is the danger of waiting until the end to deal with leeway? You forget to do it. And what does the Coast Guard love to do? Put the distractor answer in there, okay? So I'm gonna suggest that we deal with the current right off, the, that we deal with the leeway right off the bat. Okay, and we're gonna be going 10 knots. What will be your speed made good over your intended course of zero, four, zero? Okay, so this is what the box looks like. The 190 and the 1 1.4 are obviously the current. The speed for my DR line is 10 knots. And my intended course is zero four zero, but there's leeway of three degrees, okay, from a northwest wind, which means with a northwest wind, the wind is pushing me. I mean, uh, uh, the wind is pushing me down this way, so I'm going to steer towards the wind. So I'm going to go zero four zero minus three, and I'm going to plot my made good at zero three seven. If I do zero, if all right, that is the zero four zero with the three degrees of leeway built in. Okay, so that becomes M at zero three seven. So that's plotted. Now, can I plot the ten? I can't plot the ten yet. That's my closer. Okay, so I can plot the one nine zero and the one point four. So that goes there. <coughs> now I can plot the ten. What am I going to do? Get out my little dividers. The dividers are not going to show up on this slide. But I get out my little dividers. I measure 10. I put it at the end to C, and I sweep a Rooney. And that shows up. Okay. For my direction to steer, my, my course to steer, my course to steer, what leg is that going to come off of? The D leg, the M leg, or the C leg? It's going to come off the D leg. So I've got to take that off the D leg. Now, if you don't label your legs, you might take it off the wrong leg. And, oh, what is my speed made good? What leg is that going to have to come off? M. Okay. So that means for M, I would measure this distance. And for direction to steer, I would take that and bring it into the center. 
So that, that leg there is nine knots. The M leg is nine knots long. And the direction is, if I move that up there, that looks like zero three zero zero three zero three three something like that. And that's done. So you'll have one of these style of problems on the test. Okay? Test five. This is test five. You will have combining wind-driven and rotary currents on test four on Thursday. But it's a different kind of current problem. Okay, just a couple little tips. Okay, when you're doing that, so this is just like standalone little set and drift problems that you could get on the near coastal. You can even get it on the oceans module. So on those, you can do a 60 minute triangle. When you're doing it on the chart though, for the chart plot, you're gonna have probably 12 minute triangles, 15 minute thir triangles, 30 minute triangles, okay? so. One of the beautiful things you can do on the chart plot is transfer it to a maneuvering board and you can make it an hour long triangle if you want, okay? But if you transfer it to the maneuvering board, you can, you can change the scale, right? You wanna make it as big as possible. Maneuvering board is what you're gonna to wanna to use because there are not radar plotting sheets in the Coast Guard exam room. There's maneuvering boards, there's those 923s and 924s, which you could also do this on. And there's also, um, um, charts okay uh i highly suggest you make the c label your leg c d and m remember c plus d equals m and if you make that little six variable box okay then you can always look for the two things that are missing in it you can also solve this graphically and we solve it graphically but you can also solve it by law signs so you don't have to do any plotting 